The battle for Mosul is into its second week. Advancing troops are making their way towards the perimeters of the city. ISIL is putting up a fight, but hasn't been able to stop the advance. ISIL fighters have, however, been responding to battlefield losses elsewhere. They stormed the town of Rutba in the western province of Anbar, killed security forces, then withdrew. ISIL has also attacked Kurdish Peshmerga forces in Sinjar, close to the Syrian border. And for two days, ISIL forced Iraqi security forces to declare a state of emergency in the northern city of Kirkuk. Dozens of fighters targeted multiple locations in an assault some described as a message. This is the message for the uh, citizen in the Mosul. Uh, Daesh said him, we, we, we don't have weakness situation. Support me, continue, support me, because we have power in Iraq, in Kirkuk, in another place. But this is uh, the temporary situation, not, uh, uh, they, they don't have power to continue this situation. ISIL is weakened by bombs and drones. Fighters are increasingly resorting to guerrilla-style tactics and are still able to launch counter-offensives with the aim of distracting and stretching Iraqi security forces. ISIL's predecessor, al-Qaeda in Iraq, was all but defeated when U.S. forces withdrew from this country. It went underground. And years later, it was able to exploit the sense of alienation felt by the Sunni community with the mainly Shia-led government in Baghdad. It also exploited the security vacuum across the border in Syria that allowed it to regroup and re-emerge even stronger. ISIL fighters are still able to move back and forth across the border between Iraq and Syria. The group controls Syrian territory, including the city of Rikka, ISIL's self-proclaimed capital. The U.S. Defense Secretary knows the importance of defeating ISIL on both battlefields. During a visit to the semi-autonomous Kurdish region in northern Iraq, Ash Carter said, We want to see an isolation operation begin around Rikka as soon as possible. We are working with our partners there to do that. There will be some simultaneity to these two operations. There's still no consensus on which ground forces will be involved in recapturing Rikka. Anti-ISIL forces in Iraq are an uneasy alliance of forces with competing interests. Mosul is the last urban stronghold for ISIL. Its fall would be a strategic setback and a symbolic one as well, since it was from where ISIL declared its caliphate. But ISIL fighters still control pockets of territory across Iraq. And there is still little political reconciliation in Iraq and Syria. Without that, ISIL could just disappear to fight another day, just like it did in the past. Zanakhudar al-Jazeera, Northern Iraq.